This was a huge week for AI news. Incredible new models released, and the competition is heating up, as you'll see. First of all, GPT-4 is back. It was overshadowed by Claude 3 Opus for a little bit, but Google releases Gemini 1.5 Pro to the public available in the Vertex AI portal. Not to be outdone, OpenAI immediately drops the new and improved GPT-4. A lot of OpenAI insiders are saying it's majorly improved and kind of doing the little winking face, but no one's really explaining what's happening. I can't find the tweet that I'm thinking of right now, but one of the OpenAI employees were saying how they rushed to get this announcement out and they will follow up with more detailed description of what hasn't been improved in the next couple of days. So it sounds like they just wanted to drop this as soon as uh, Google Gemini 1.5 Pro dropped. So they're kind of just uh, sticking it to Google. Of course, you know exactly what happened right after that. Mistral AI drops their brand new model. This is their new 8 by 22 billion model. So a mixture of experts, 8 experts, 22 billion parameters. But how good are these models? Well, here's Greg Brockman pointing out some of the people that are testing the new GPT-4 Turbo and uh, pointing out how good it is. Looks like it's getting better at the multiple needles in the haystack benchmark. So it's able to effectively retrieve small pieces of text in large amounts of data. So if you're trying to find something in a large stack of documents, this seems to do it better. This is the thing that Google Gemini 1.5 Pro is very good at. And it looks like GPT-4 has also greatly improved at that ability. So here the yellow line is the newest release compared to 1106, which was the one that they released at the November OpenAI conference. Side-by-side -side comparison of GPT-4 Turbo and the previous model. The new model talks less and it also goes directly right into code. It also decides to add a flag to download the highest quality video. You might have been following the back and forth between Google and OpenAI where basically it seems like Maybe OpenAI used YouTube to train its models using the various content and videos, potentially maybe using Whisper to transcribe those things and then train their models on those YouTube videos. And of course, the YouTube CEO is saying, hey, that would not be okay. But also seemingly they're not really pushing the issue too much because, well, the thing is they're also training on YouTube videos and maybe there's a little bit of a gray area there since it's technically the user's videos, the creator's videos that they're training their models on. So maybe they don't want to draw too much attention to that. But I did find it funny that the prompt example that they've used here is this. Create a Python script that downloads video from YouTube using the PyTube library in a folder with the same name of the video. So GPT-4 now is even better at downloading videos from YouTube, which is phenomenal to hear. There's a big jump in math and reasoning for the coding benchmarks for the new GPT-4 Turbo model. The previous GPT-4 Turbo was good, but Claude 3 Opus was able to beat it by uh, several points, by about three percentage points. This is pass at one, so basically, you know, on the first try, solving the problem on the first try. And then here comes the new GPT-4 Turbo model released in April 2024. And there's a massive improvement, just under eight points improvement over an 11 point improvement over the previous GPT-4 Turbo model. There's a person delving into the latest GPT-4 Turbo model. He delves deeper and begins delving, delving, delving. Have you been hearing that word a lot more delving? Let's delve deeper, let's delve into. Why is everybody all of a sudden saying delving? The issue is that ChatGPT overuses the word delve for whatever reason and thinks that delve should be a very commonly used word. So instead of uh, look deeper or analyze or look further or go down the rabbit hole, it just goes delve. And so the various PubMed results, there has been a skyrocketing use of the word delve. So as you can see here, in 2023 and 2024, and we're like a quarter into 2024. I mean, it's skyrocketed, which of course becomes a meme. So expect to see that word a lot more now. But let's delve into something completely different. So this is Eleven Labs, the AI voice generation platform. You've heard their voices on this channel quite a bit. If you've ever heard that sarcastic female voice that comes in and makes fun of me every once in a while when I screw something up, that's from Eleven Labs. But Eleven Labs is teaming up with Pika Labs, and they're launching their very first 72 hour film fast, April 12th to the 14th, and create a short film using 11 Labs and Pika. 
sign up to compete via the link below and stay tuned for an announcement of the theme tomorrow. With AI video generation platforms like Sora, Pika Labs, Runway and ML, voice generation like Eleven Labs, and now with the different music generation platforms like Suno and Udio, it's becoming easier and easier to potentially create incredible works of art, films, right? With voices, characters, music. Take a look at this little clip that they have here. Where do we go when we dream? What vision of the future do you see? Are we dreaming? Introducing the 72 hour film fast by Pika and Eleven Labs. Three days, free access, one film. An AI film competition like no other. Sign up now and show us what you will create. Also, remember that humane AI pin that was coming out? It's out. People got their hands on it and are reviewing it. And what well, sounds like it's not that good. People are not happy. Play Texas Hold'em by Beyonce. Songs not found for request. Play Texas Hold'em by Beyond backslash U00E9. Try again using your actions. Find a relevant track, album, artist, or playlist. Oh, Create Lord. a new play music action with at least one of the slots filled in. If you find a relevant track or album, play it. Avoid asking for clarification or what they want to hear. It just read me the instructions on the back end of Humane's system. That was fantastic. In other news, more and more people are trying to build AI agents that can be online influencers, for example, playing Minecraft, streaming on Twitch TV, using a AI-generated sort of avatar that plays something like Minecraft by itself. Let me know if you would watch something like this, you know, assuming it gets better, keeps progressing. Is this something you may be interested in? Navigating birch trees, popping red flowers. It's like Mother Nature's pixelated garden party. Look, I'm gardening. Sneaking under leaves. It's stealth mode me. Aha, pretty flowers. Gonna make a fancy bouquet. Swinging axe, another tree bites the dust. Ah, fresh air and deforestation, my kind of day. Creeping under canopies, giant birch sheep, wool tactic camouflage, or nature's Minecraft prank. Absolutely hilarious. Crafting ninja, I've struck white gold. Wool for days. Whoa, sneaky birch playing hide and seek. Peek a block, love me some hidden gems in this leafy wonderland. Bumbling through brush, my botanical escapade continues. Snagged on leaves, but hey, more crafting supplies. Jackpot. Maze of trees, I'm lost. Joking, Minecraft pros never get lost, or do they? Adventure tweaks. With all that, my name is Wes Roth, and thank you for watching.